Hi guys, welcome to another video. Here's just a short clip of me catching a trout on a bung with great footage of a couple of false takes before the fish committed, which I'll um, talk you through in a minute. So I was set up with a bung, like seen in the picture, with a 13 foot leader, an olive creeper blob on the point, and a small little pink apps on the dropper about four foot down. And that is the pattern the fish hit as you can see blended into this video now so i've just cast out i'm going to let the fly sink and i'm going to correct my line and retrieve some of it in as you see to make sure i'm in contact with that bung i've got a nice little breeze so the bung is swinging round naturally which is a killer method so if you keep around the bung any second now it's going to bob under just there so now I'm alert and I'm red, I'm fingers on the pulse, I'm waiting. He's probably going to come around and have another go, which he does there. You've just seen it again. And now I'm waiting for the committed take, which is there. The bun goes straight under and I struck into him. Now some may be critical that I haven't struck on either of those two bites, as they fully well could have been in the fish's mouth and I would have hooked it. But in my experience, I've struck seen the bung dip under many times i've struck into emptiness so i've just learned now to keep the composure and if you strike too soon there's a good chance you'll frighten the fish off but because i left it you seen he came back three times and the third time he decided he really wanted it and he's on as you've seen i understand the bung method obviously it's not one for the purists. It can be controversial, but you can't deny it. it will catch your fish. Particularly on those really hard days where it just seems like the only thing a trout will attack is something presented under the bung and the way it sits. Lures, even buzzers fish naturally, the trouts aren't interested until you throw something bizarre or a pattern that a trout hasn't seen or is not familiar with. It's a quite inquisitive fish and they will investigate anything in their territory or when they're swimming past that they're not familiar with. There's a host of patterns like blobs, eggs, squirmies, chamois, apps, worms, loads, you can try buzzers even. There we are guys, lovely rainbow and a little pink worm. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I thought I'd put this one up as um, it was the perfect example of a couple of false bites using the bone, just so um, people can understand what it looks like. And as always, you can find me on Instagram at Welsh underscore flyfish for more content, daily updates that I do. And if you like this video, like, share a comment if you want, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.